everyone, welcome to my channel. This was the first time I solo traveled to a completely foreign country, Mexico, where I don't understand the language at all. I planned this trip to Peru back in 2017. While I was buying the tickets, I realized I had to transit in Mexico City anyway, so I thought why not spend a couple nights to explore this new city. Obstacles occurred right after I landed. I could have just gone to my Airbnb with a taxi and it would have made my life easier, but I chose to ride the metro. And man, it was hella confusing, especially if you don't read any Spanish. Luckily, with the help of kind strangers, I was able to make it to my Airbnb safely. Look at this cute and aesthetic interior design. The host also lives on a property, so the living room and the kitchen were shared. Now this was my private room. It was so spacious, clean, and cozy. It only costed 25 US dollar per night. The only downside about this place is that you have to walk a lot of stairs. I'm so tired, I lost my voice. I should have just gone here with a taxi. Instead, I got metro, which I have to walk a lot, a lot of stairs with my heavy luggage. But I'm glad I made it safely. After settling in, I headed out to explore the city. I found a vegan place nearby through Happy Cow and decided to have my first proper meal there. First up for appetizer was the mac and cheese. It looked so adorable in a pot. The waiter recommended lasagna for main dish. It was super filling. And of course, I had to have a dessert. Honestly, nothing really stood out, but all the dishes were decent. Afterward, I just walked around this colorful neighborhood while trying to absorb everything I see. I didn't expect to see a recycling machine for plastic bottles and cans that would exchange money automatically. In order to see Mexico City more efficiently, I booked a day tour through Bamba Experience. The tour focused on exploring the Coyoacan neighborhood and the boat ride at Xochimilco. From there, we are going to Xochimilco. We're gonna take a little ride in the little boats that are in the rivers inside Mexico City. Coyoacan translates to a place of coyotes. In the past, coyotes used to be common over here. Despite its name, coyotes are now rarely seen in the city. This bohemian neighborhood is home to many of the city's intellectual and cultural landmarks, such as this Catholic church that I can't pronounce. Hmm? This one are the churros if you want to try it, okay, uh -huh. here. 50 pesos each one, and this one are the flavors, chocolate, milk, uh, strawberries, Blueberry, apple, peach, pineapple. This was the first time I see churros made from scratch. I was really tempted to try, so I didn't ask if it was vegan or not. Mango? Yes. Gracias. I ordered the peach flavor. It was the best churro I had in my life. Then we headed over to the iconic artist Frida Kahlo's former house which is now a museum filled with her most valuable art and memorabilia. If you're bringing your camera inside, you have to get a photo pass for additional cost. We made a stop at the National Autonomous University of Mexico. This campus is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site that was designed by some of Mexico's best-known architects of the 20th century. The murals in the main campus were painted by some of the most greatest artists in Mexican history. I also got to try this local dessert called Nieves, which is snow ice cream. It was perfect for this weather. 
Xochimilco, ¿qué significa Xochimilco? El lugar de las flores. Acá. I love these colorful tourist boats called Trajineras. The most exciting part of the tour for me was the boat ride through the ancient canal of Xochimilco, known as the Venice of Mexico, also a World Heritage Site. It was so fun to experience the floating market. They were selling food, flowers, and random stuff. We also got to enjoy a mariachi performance on our boat. People can even host party or reunion on these boats. How dope is that? It was an awesome one-hour boat ride that I would never forget. Now on to my last day in Mexico City. Right now it's 5.40 a.m. They're picking up early because we're gonna catch the sunrise for hot air balloon. So excited. So yeah, my tour ditched me and my hot air balloon dream was not happening because it was too late already by the time I arrived at Teotihuacan. But it's okay, I still made it here. Y Basilica de Guadalupe en 1500, todo. So are you my tour guide? It is me, yeah. Si. Oh, okay. <laughs> si, okay. I thought Anna was just a taxi driver, but turned out she was also a tour guide. I was so glad and felt so secure knowing that she would be by my side for the day. So I didn't have to struggle alone. <laughs> I'm at the Pyramid of Sun. Así estaban antes de que se descubriera, que se notaran que había una pirámide. Estos son centros de adoración que la gente hace culto. Mm. Although she gave me the whole tour in Spanish, I was still able to enjoy every moment there. The view was freaking epic from the pyramid. It was such an intense workout to get to the top. The top of the pyramid. Fuck. <laughs> wow. Ah. My camera didn't do it justice, but the view from up here was absolutely breathtaking. A random family even asked to take a picture with me. This is the moon pyramid. It's much smaller, but the stairs is much steeper. Even though this morning kind of sucked, I'm glad I met Anna. I'm glad I made it here. So just be happy. Forget about the bad things. Out of all the tourist sightseeing I did, this is the one that you should not miss. Oh my god! Hola! Hola, mi preciosa! Oh. Oh. oh my god! Then it was time for lunch. Anna took me to this restaurant nearby and she ordered everything for me. So I don't know the names of each item. But she made sure everything was vegan. Everything was so delicious. Especially this chocolate savory sauce called mole. It was divine. On the way back to Mexico City, we stopped by Basilica de Guadalupe. I hope I pronounced that right. 
It is one of the most visited Catholic pilgrimage sites in the world. People come here to see the image of Virgin of Guadalupe, which is the most religious icon in all of Mexico. After the tour with Anna, I went to explore Mexico City one last time. One thing cool about the coconut vendor here is that after you drink all the water, they would dig out the coconut meat and season it for you. It was a great spicy snack. As I was walking through the city, a wave of feels hit me. I came here not knowing what to expect and left with a beautiful and enriching cultural experience. I'll never forget the help I received from kind strangers. This was my first solo travel trip, and I can't wait to explore other parts of Mexico in near future. That's it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on the notification alert so you'll know when I upload a new video. Nos vemos!